Hey, welcome back to another Daily Glitch, where we're bringing you today's top gaming stories from around the web. We got some more details on the Mass Effect Andromeda footage that was shown off at yesterday's PlayStation Pro reveal. Bioware creative director Mac Walters, in a gameplay interview with PlayStation Access, revealed that the possible male and female playable characters are brother and sister, and that both would exist in the story regardless of the player choice. However, what's unclear is whether the typical Mass Effect character creator changes will have an effect on the other sibling. And there is one more family member in attendance for the Andromeda Fest. PlayStation Pro's announcement was studded with 4K trailers and gameplay, and Mass Effect easily took the show by storm. EA also took the time to mention during their interview that fans shouldn't be too concerned with the lack of Mass Effect's dialogue menu choices during this trailer, as it was more focused on the environment and highlighting the strengths of the new PS4 Pro. Mass Effect Andromeda is set to launch sometime in 2017 and Rocket League launched its latest major update, adding the new Rumble mode into the mix. Rumble gives players a wide range of power-ups like tornadoes or freeze rays to throw another wrench into that car soccer formula. What is already a ridiculous concept is driven even further into madness when you start launching yourself across the map with a grappling hook or punching the ball with a cartoon boxing glove on a spring. Also included in the update is the long-awaited garage presets, which allow you to save customization presets and quickly toggle between them before a match. As well, the previously announced crate drop mechanic has been added into the game, allowing players to purchase keys to unlock cosmetic items like wheels or decals from randomly dropped crates. Psyonix has stated that some of the proceeds would be going directly to helping fund future Rocket League professional tournaments. In order to dodge some of the recent Steam Marketplace controversy, Psyonix has also opted the game out from any Marketplace functionality. But if the whole idea of crates frightens or disgusts you, you are able to turn off the entire system in the options menu. Rocket League's Rumble update is live now on PC, PS4, and Xbox One. In a blog post today, Hearthstone is Associate designer Dean Ayala highlighted some key changes the team would be making to the game's arena mode, a blind draft type mode that forces players to select cards for their deck one at a time at random. Since its launch, Arena has been a slave to the current metagame, making classes like Mage and Rogue much more prominent and successful than the other heroes. As a result, Ayala announced a handful of cards from every class that would be removed from the arena mode in order to better balance the chances for some of the other classes' more powerful cards to pop up. This isn't the first time Hearthstone has removed cards specifically from from Arena. With the latest expansion, Whispers of the Old Gods, all cards that powered up the Old God Cthulhu were removed as they tended to be useless without the Old God in your deck. And even more recently, with the launch of the One Night in Karazhan adventure, players demanded the exclusion of the Priest spell Purify, citing that it was only useful in very particular deck builds and was otherwise a totally useless and downright hindrance to play with. It's not clear yet when the changes will actually take effect, but Ayala also announced the possibility for more balanced changes coming in the near future. And that's it for today. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you'd like to stay up on all the latest gaming news, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Twitter at Glitchfeed. We'll be back tomorrow with another Daily Glitch.